Hi everybody, I'm Casey, welcome to my channel. Today is Mask Monday and I decided to do the Glam Glow Gravity Mug Firming. Um, honestly, when I decided to do it, it was because I knew I would be doing an empties in this video and I thought maybe if I did one more, it would be empty because I knew I had used it like four or five other times, but I definitely have enough in there for another mask. So that's also good to know because this is expensive enough. You want to be able to know you get more than just a few masks out of it. So that is that. Um, I think this is my first Mask Monday I've done in a month, so it's exciting to be back. We have been doing less YouTube videos. I do think that just as we start getting out of the house more, I'll probably be doing a lot less. I am. Um, I think it's fun, of course, so I won't, you know, be stopping. But um, I do think. I mean, you know, I started the channel in like October because I was bored out of my mind from staying at home for months and months and um you know playing in makeup and getting subscription boxes was like the only fun thing going on but as we're able to get out more I think that I'll have less of a need to make videos just for something to do so I don't go crazy so um that'll be a good thing though and um I'm sure you guys won't miss seeing me you know every day like three times a week or two times a week will be be enough. We are going to a music festival at the end of this month. Um, we have, we've got our, our shots and it is still a like, they're calling it a socially distanced still music festival, which will be really interesting to see, or for me, it'll be interesting to see how they do it. We're supposed to all have kind of our own little roped off areas and which will certainly be different because I usually definitely like to kind of make my way up to the the front <laughs> get close to the stage and you know I think they're not gonna be letting you do that um, your area is your area and even things like they had the option to purchase a cooler that they stock for you with whatever you want in it like there's an app and you just fill out what you want and then they have that pod waiting for you in your little section um, and they take it away each night and fill it with ice and anything left in there you you know keep for the next day or if you need more they have it again sitting in there in your little area um, which I think is cool. So there's not even going to be like as much going up to the refreshment stand, you know, as there would be. So I don't know. I find I'm going to find it interesting. And just because, you know, we haven't had a vacation like most of you for well over a year. Um, which also brings me to, would any of you be interested in seeing any like vlogging type thing from the music festival? Because I certainly don't need to do it if, you know, nobody cares about that sort of thing and only wants to see beauty related content, you know, subscription boxes and makeup and masking. Um, anyway, so you can let me know because, you know, if only one of you cares, like there's no reason for me to, to do that. Okay. So here are my empties for, I don't know how long it's been since I've had some, but, um, I don't usually keep track of when I did the last one. It's just kind of like when the drawer gets full that I'm putting things in. So this time I have a lot of candles. My daughter, Nadia, makes fun of me a little bit. I do like to have candles burning at all times and sometimes too, even though we live in this little tiny apartment. Um, you know, we also have three litter boxes in this little tiny apartment. So um, candles, she's made jokes that like, I think of it as like part of my job. Like I gotta, well, who's gonna light the candle? <laughs> gotta go get the candle lit. Anyway, so these are the candles for this time. Um, white velvet coconut. Yes, this was a Christmas um, scent and I was still burning it even though it was in a Christmas jar. Um, it's not like, People are in the house thinking, oh, you shouldn't be using that snowflake Christmas ornament candle because I'm looking at it in April. And the scent, the white velvet coconut, didn't make me feel Christmassy. It just seemed coconutty, like a sugared coconut. And I liked it. And bath and body candles, I usually think, smell really nice. And let's see, the only other bath and body works when Nadia actually brought this one with her. It was the mahogany teak wood. Um, and this one is the sense that I kind of don't like as much. It's very man scented, which she loves that kind of scent. And it is like, I want my guy to smell like this. That would be certainly fine. But just to burn it in my whole house, even my husband has said like, he doesn't really care to come home and feel like he's smelling another man that's hiding in a closet. So um, Nadia usually just kind of had this one in her room and it does, it smells good. Just not the normal fruity scents that I usually go for. Um, then this candle was pumpkin spice surfs up candle and it was in this cute little tin. It was, I thought it was nice and cute for the bathroom, just a tiny little candle. And 
this one was actually in one of the giveaways that I won, so I don't even know where it was purchased, but um, it did smell, smell good. This one is another pumpkin spice, and this one I also won in a giveaway from Tiffany Rose T-shirts, and I know that they sell this at Kohl's, and it's kind of an expensive candle, but honestly, the scent did not have much of a throw, so it's from Scentworks, and while I, of course, appreciate it, and I thought it was a pretty jar, um, it smelled better cold than actually, once you were burning it, I can really tell if it was being burned or not. And the last candle, um, yours a fig, lemon, cedar, and amber. And I do get a little citrusy from it. Um, it was just cute because this band that we really like, Andy Fresco and the UN, um, this is, was something that they did in their merch line. So, um, you know, instead of buying a t-shirt or, you know, whatever, they also were selling candles and that was just fun. I think those are all my candles. The Clarifying Foam Cleanser by this brand, I bought this in a FabFitFun sale. And again, I hate to waste things, so I was really happy when we finished this because I didn't like it. Um, and it didn't smell good at all. It almost smelled like beer, like it had a very yeasty smell that made me feel like it was spoiled more than what it should smell like. It was just smelly and I mean, I'm sure it cleansed my skin fine, but every time you foamed it out and put it on, I was really thinking, yeah. Um, Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion. Um, I've talked about this in other empties because this is probably my third bottle of this all having come from a subscription box. If you're going to give it to me for free, I'm definitely going to use it because I like the way that it feels, but I, other than the way that it feels, I don't notice any difference of how my skin looks. And I think originally it would probably be about $55 for this like one ounce size. And it goes very quickly, um, which of course I like, since I have so many serums and things to try out, it's nice when one goes away very quickly. But if I was paying, you know, over $50 for it, I certainly wouldn't want it to go away as quickly as it does. And that also goes with this 111 Skin Pollution Defense Booster. Um, it also, you know, came in a subscription box and I was, surprised at how quickly I used it up because sometimes I have serums in there that just seem to last forever and ever, which again, I know in my mind, then it means that I like this one and I reached for it because of the way that it felt, but not necessarily because I could tell that it did anything wonderful for my skin. This was Caudalie and this was in my travel bag and I used this one while I was traveling and there was another one that where this is like Vino Pure, the other one was like Vino Source, because um, I forgot to save that one, I just threw that away when I was at the other house. And I liked them both the way that they felt. So I do think that this brand, since I was using two at the same time and both of them were good, was, was probably a brand that I would you know check out later if I ran out of serums ever from subscription boxes, which just doesn't seem like it's ever going to happen. Um, so I liked the brand, I liked the products I used, don't know that they made me look any different or younger, but they felt good on my skin. This is my first bum bum cream, boom boom cream, whichever you want to say. Um, and you know, I'd heard forever how good it smelled and it smelled good, but not nearly as good as what I expected after everybody, you know, goes on about it. So, um, it was not my very favoritist lotion to ever use, but it was certainly fine. And it wasn't my favorite scent to ever have, but it was certainly fine. Um, Forever, I'd felt like I was probably missing out on something because of how much people hyped it up. And I can't say that I thought it was completely worth the hype. The Estee Lauder Resilience Multi-Effect Tripeptide Face and Neck Cream, Broad Spectrum 15. I used this one only for my neck because I do feel like um, if it says neck on it, I want to, I don't have that many neck products. So I was saving it and only using it for my neck. Of course, the snail mask that we all used for Jean Louise's birthday mask. And um, I really liked the way that this felt and how my skin felt after we took it off. This is a Honeysuckle and Gardenia um, skin polish. This one I did like, but I like the ones that are more like the sugar scrubs that feel like they go away in water. 
Um, so many times it's either like the caffeine coffee scrub that just sticks around and then it um, makes such a mess in your bathtub or the kind that almost like it's a salt scrub but it's in like an oil base and then that oil just sticks around on your skin and I almost feel like you know I can take my fingernails and it just like goes up underneath it I'm not real into that one either um so these that are more like the sugar where it just kind of melts away and goes away is one that I like and then the last thing is the sun's out pouts out cannabis lip mask and I'm gonna hold it upside down because actually it still has product in this that I have for a couple of days now, like instead of using my regular, you know, like chapsticky kind of thing, I'll just kind of stick my finger down in and wipe this on my lips instead because that's how there was so much um, essence still in it. Um, it does smell too much like baby powder to me. Like I don't love the, the way that it smells, but um, the night that I opened it actually was kind of late at night, like maybe nine, and I was actually in that where I'm bored and I just want to start munching on things and going to the cabinet and seeing what I could eat. And I thought, well, maybe if I just put a mask over my mouth, it'll make me not eat for, you know, 15, 20 minutes. And then I would feel tired enough to go to sleep. Um, if I remember correctly, it didn't actually work. I didn't eat for the like 15 or 20 minutes, but as soon as I took it off, I still went to the cabinet and found something to eat. Okay. So that's probably all. Um, I'm not sure this is ready. I'm going to go turn you off and check on it and see if I can peel. I checked, it seems to be kind of ready. Like I've got my peel going. <laughs> I thought maybe, you know, if you want to see some of it, we can do a little on here. What do you think? A little bit sticking kind of. So bad. Um, all right, I'll go pick off the little pieces and then do probably a peptide and some moisturizer. Thanks. Um, for watching to the end and um i know that nadia and i filmed a little um pan that sign makeup fun thing that we did would you rather questions in that'll probably go up tomorrow and then whenever i get my ipsy and allure and boxy charm and goldie box and i feel like i've got maybe a mystery bag of makeup coming i should have some good mail that just wiped weird didn't it anyway that's all I got. Thanks so much. <laughs> Bye. And of course, I always forget something. So I have to love the PS on the end of my videos. But um, when I went to the bathroom to pick the rest of those off, I found this in the trash can and another member of the family didn't, you know, put it in the, hey, these are Casey's empties. Just threw it away. Um, but this Yensa 2-in-1 Radical Polishing Mask, um, I have an extra, so it's already there by the tub too, but I leave this by the bathtub and I've told everybody to um, use it. I like, cause in the bathtub, you know, you can just put it on after your skin's got a little dampness to it anyway, put it on like it's a mask while you're masking your hair, you know, and doing your deep conditioner or shaving your legs or whatever. And then like, what is it? Yeah, five to 10 minutes, you just kind of massage in circular motions and then rinse off. And I think that's such an easy thing to do in the bathtub. So liking this product a lot. And the last thing I forgot to say is I did get over 300 subscribers. So I guess I should be doing a giveaway soon. So I guess I'll be figuring out a way to put that in a video sometime too. You want to say something on camera or off? Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, um, leftover. So do you want some quesadilla?